time together. Thank you, Father, for revelation knowledge. Thank you, Lord. Opening our eyes to see, our ears to hear, Lord, what you're saying to the church. Thank you, Father, we thank you that we will be obedient because we choose to follow you and your word. Thank you, Father God. And the leading of your spirit you, because we're sons of God. Yes. And we thank you, Lord God, thank for that privilege, that honor today that we can walk with you and talk with you and be instructed and guided by you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, everybody said? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. We bless you in the name of Jesus. Uh, verse 17, Ephesians 5, 17. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. We don't need to belabor that. That uh, <coughs> it is not wisdom to not understand the will of the Lord. As a matter of fact, you'll get yourself into some trouble real quick, right? Not understanding God's will. But there's lots of Christians out there that don't understand the will of God. So, therefore, we decided to go with these teachings. And now look at also Colossians chapter 1. Colossians chapter 1. This is the second scripture, theme scripture of this teaching. Colossians chapter 1, verse 9. For this cause, we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to desire that you might be filled with the knowledge of his will. Okay, so God wants you to be filled with the knowledge of his will. Amen. Hallelujah. That you might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom. How much wisdom? All and spiritual understanding, yes. not natural understanding, but spiritual understanding. There is a huge difference. Yes. There is a great divide between the natural and the spiritual. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Verse 10, that you might walk worthy of the Lord. The reason for this is so that you would walk worthy of the Lord. Unto all pleasing. I believe we all want to please the Lord or we wouldn't be here this morning, right? Amen. Being fruitful in every good work. In other words, not having a vain faith, but being fruitful. And increasing in the knowledge of God. Amen. Now, Second Peter, the first chapter, talks about what the knowledge of God will do for you. It uh, places you, uh, gives you all grace. Hallelujah. And uh, grace is everything the Lord has done for us. Amen. And faith receives that. So, if I don't know it's out there, I won't apply any faith to go get it. Right? Right. Hallelujah. I have learned the hard way that nothing, not really too much anyway, is automatic with God <laughs> and us. We have to pursue it with a, with a realm of faith. Okay, you with me? Yeah. Verse 11, strengthened with all might according to his glorious power, unto all patience and longsuffering with joyfulness. So, Ephesians 5, 17, we want to not be unwise, but we want to understand God's will. Yes. Colossians 1 and 9, we want to understand the will of God in the spiritual realm. Amen. Not a natural understanding of it, but a spiritual understanding of it. You can't do that without the Holy Ghost. Hello? Amen. Now, if, you're, if you just get saved and... and you are awake and alive to the things of the Spirit, and you can now hear the Spirit, yeah. then you can go to a certain point, but unless you get filled with the Holy Ghost, right. speaking in other tongues, right. hallelujah, prophesying, yeah. then you will not advance to the next level. <laughs> and so we, you'll stay in the natural, somewhat in the natural and somewhat in the spiritual. And that doesn't work. I'm going to talk about that more in a little bit. You can't, you can't mix them. Hallelujah. we got to get into the Spirit. Willie said this morning, he said, come out from among them. Yeah. Yes. Let's, let's, uh, let's walk with the Lord hand in hand. Amen? Yes. Not with the world in one hand and the Lord in the other hand. 